Imagine waking up one day with a sudden sharp headache, tightness in your chest or a lingering pain in your stomach. You might first think of stress, lack of sleep or what you ate the night before. But what if the cause is something deeper? It turns out our feelings have a profound impact on our physical health and when left unchecked, they can trigger real illness. This connection between emotions and disease is not just a theory, but is backed by science and centuries of observation. Friends, our mind and body are intricately connected. This means that when we experience strong emotions, they don't stay confined to our thoughts, but manifest physically. While we may often ignore or brush off these emotions, their long-term effects can cause us serious harm. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of how different emotions affect the body and why certain diseases are often linked to specific feelings. Number 1. Anger – Fuel for the Heart and Liver Anger is one of the most intense emotions and when it is frequent or unresolved, it has a direct impact on our body, particularly the heart and liver. People who experience anger often may notice increased blood pressure, tension in their muscles and in some cases an increased risk of heart disease. But why does anger affect the heart? When we get angry, our body goes into fight or flight mode. This causes adrenaline and a stress hormone called cortisol to flood our system, raising our blood pressure and heart rate. Over time, repeated surges of these hormones can wear down the heart, leading to cardiovascular diseases including heart attacks and strokes. The liver is also affected by anger. In traditional Chinese medicine, it is believed that anger blocks the free flow of energy through the liver, leading to stagnation and inflammation. This could explain why chronic anger can lead to liver problems or digestive issues. Number 2. Stress and Anxiety – The Silent Erosion We all know stress is bad for us, but do we really understand the depth of its damage? Stress and anxiety are emotions that, when experienced over long periods, can have a devastating effect on the immune system. They make us more susceptible to infections, increase inflammation, and can even lead to autoimmune diseases where the body starts attacking itself. The reason stress affects so many parts of the body is because of cortisol. While cortisol is helpful in short bursts, like when we need to react quickly in an emergency, prolonged exposure wears the body down. Chronic stress leads to issues like digestive problems, such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, headaches, sleep disturbances, and an overall weakened immune response. Long-term anxiety has also been linked to conditions such as asthma and eczema. Number 3. Fear – The Freeze Response and Kidney Trouble Fear is a primal emotion designed to keep us safe. In small doses, it triggers the release of adrenaline, helping us escape danger. However, when fear becomes chronic, whether from constant worries about the future or a long-standing phobia, it starts to weaken the body, particularly the kidneys. In ancient Chinese medicine, fear is believed to be tied to the kidneys, and this idea is backed by modern science. Chronic fear and anxiety lead to a depletion of adrenaline, which can eventually weaken the adrenal glands that sit atop the kidneys. This can result in fatigue, a weakened immune system, and kidney problems over time. Fear also triggers the freeze response. This constant state of tension and hypervigilance can lead to muscular pain, headaches, and even contribute to the development of conditions like high blood pressure as the body remains in a heightened state of readiness. Number 4. Sadness and Grief The Lungs and the Breath of Life Grief and sadness, particularly when prolonged, are known to affect the lungs. 
have you ever noticed how when deeply upset your breathing becomes shallow or you might find yourself sighing more often this is not just coincidence when we are sad or grieving our breathing patterns change in traditional chinese medicine the lungs are closely tied to sadness and chronic sorrow can weaken them studies show that people who experience prolonged grief or sadness are more likely to develop respiratory issues such as asthma bronchitis or even pneumonia the physical act of breathing becomes restricted as grief sits heavily on our chest number five guilt and shame digestive issues and stomach problems guilt and shame are powerful emotions that can eat away at us quite literally these emotions are often tied to the digestive system particularly the stomach people who carry unresolved guilt or a sense of shame often experience issues like stomach ulcers acid reflux or irritable bowel syndrome ibs but why does this happen when we feel guilty or ashamed we often ruminate over our mistakes or perceived shortcomings this mental digestion of our problems translates into physical digestion issues the constant anxiety and self-criticism lead to the overproduction of stomach acid which can cause ulcers and other digestive problems moreover our gut is often referred to as our second brain housing millions of neurons that directly respond to emotional stress number six loneliness and depression the immune system and inflammation loneliness is not just a sad feeling it is a health hazard studies show that people who experience chronic loneliness or depression are at a much higher risk of developing inflammation based diseases such as arthritis cardiovascular diseases and even alzheimer's this happens because loneliness and depression weaken the immune system when we are depressed our body produces more inflammatory chemicals which over time can damage tissues and organs furthermore people who feel isolated often lack motivation to take care of their health which can lead to poor diet lack of exercise and a weakened immune response all of which contribute to physical illness number seven jealousy and envy heart palpitations and blood pressure spikes jealousy and envy are emotions that stir up strong reactions in the body these feelings can lead to heart palpitations increased blood pressure and even digestive problems when we feel jealous or envious we often feel a sense of tightness or tension in the chest which is a physical manifestation of these emotions this happens because jealousy and envy activate the sympathetic nervous system much like anger or fear this leads to a spike in adrenaline causing our heart to race and our muscles to tense over time chronic jealousy or envy can contribute to high blood pressure heart issues and even insomnia as the body struggles to return to a state of calm and finally the number eight joy the healing emotion not all emotions lead to disease joy the feeling of happiness and contentment has the opposite effect on the body when we experience joy our body releases endorphins often called feel-good hormones these chemicals reduce stress lower blood pressure and even boost the immune system laughter a natural expression of joy can improve lung function increase oxygen intake and promote relaxation friends joy is a natural antidote to many of the negative emotions we have discussed people who experience regular feelings of happiness and contentment tend to live longer healthier lives as their bodies are less frequently in a state of stress or tension so friends understanding how emotions affect our physical health reminds us that our well-being is deeply tied to how we feel the body responds to emotional pain in much the same way it responds to physical pain 
ignoring or suppressing emotions can lead to long-term damage as our body stores unresolved feelings in ways we might not even be aware of. The good news is that by addressing our emotions, whether through therapy, mindfulness or simply talking about our feelings, we can begin to heal both mentally and physically. Emotions are a natural part of being human, but by learning to manage them, we can protect our bodies from the diseases they may cause. Our health, it seems, is not just about what we eat or how we exercise, it's about how we feel. Thank you for watching.